Saudi Crown Prince Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud is in Pakistan to discuss important regional issues including the Syrian crisis. Salman, who is also Saudi Deputy Prime Minister as well as Minister of Defence, is the second high-ranking official to travel to Islamabad following a trip by Saudi Arabia's foreign minister last month. The flurry of visits by top Saudi officials has led to speculations that Riyadh is seeking Pakistan's help on Syria. Some US media reports claim that Saudi Arabia after having lost faith in the Obama administration to oust Syrian president Bashar al-Assad's government is now looking to Pakistan for training the insurgents in Syria. However, Pakistan has publicly denied any such move. There are sometimes also reports um, based on uh, leaks or background briefings. Um, we have talked about uh, some aspects of that in the past also. They are baseless. Saudi Arabia is believed to have been facing increased isolation on the Syrian issue after the West refused to support its call for the military intervention. As far as the Syrian situation is concerned, the government of Pakistan has been following a neutral policy so far and we haven't seen any change on that. Uh, they have been encouraging both the sides in Syria, uh, the opposition and the government uh, to come to the negotiating tables and, fa- and, um, and follow the route of peace. During the visit of Saudi Arabia's crown prince, the two countries agreed on military exchanges. The details of the agreement have not been made public, but experts are of the view that increased cooperation between Pakistan and Saudi Arabia should not come at the expense of regional stability. Pakistan has always opposed foreign intervention to resolve the crisis in Syria. Experts warn that Pakistan must not join hands with Saudi Arabia, which is seeking the ouster of President Bashar al-Assad. Kamran Yusuf, Press TV, Islamabad.